hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to fill the employer reference request form it could be from an agency or it could be directly from an, uh, from your employer so when you have filled your references they will definitely send forms to your references to fill on your behalf and you want to make sure they get things right you don't want to get a very bad reference or a reference that would not be acceptable that is why i'm making this video so that you can understand and your referee can also understand as well so basically this is a sample reference form of an employer and this form might be sent directly to the person you have filled as your reference to the person's email so and you want to make sure they get it correctly so applicant's name it's your own name you are the applicant the person doing nmbi the best the person that wants to get registered as an irish nurse so you are the applicant this is not your referee's name this is your own name applicant's name make sure you start with your first name first name middle name last name your last name is your surname just um, as the way things are written in european countries so your first name comes first in everything position so your position it's going to be the position when you were working with this referee the position in your hospital maybe you put in because you definitely need two or three references depending on that employer uh, your references should either be from hr and one nursing director and one line manager one direct line manager so the nursing director should be from your present hospital and the hr or the md could be from your previous workplace so you need one hr from workplace previous workplace or md or a nursing leader from your workplace as well then in your current workplace you could you, you could use a line manager or um your director of nursing or a chief nursing officer anyone that is senior in rank and has directly worked with you should be able to feel that for you so you need at least three references and the position was the position when you were working with the person either you were working as a staff nurse or you were working as a um principal nursing officer or senior nursing officer so whatever the position is when you were working with the referee that is what that position is going to be now here name of referee is the person filling this form for you it's going to be the person you've used as your reference and the title the position of that person make sure you use someone either your direct line manager at work or your um director of nursing or assistant director of nursing or any other nursing leader and make sure there is a, 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 an hr reference from your previous hospital so the title of the person it's if it's cno if it's don make sure you write that in full the company or the hospital name was where you were working it could be your current workplace if you are feeling this if your references um are three definitely you will need three hospital names or two could be from your current hospital that doesn't really matter so hospital name should be the hospital you have they are referring to and the address should be the address of that hospital i don't want to mention uh, just to give an i can I, we can just use anything you can just mention one hospital but just for this uh, for this uh, tutorial purposes but the person filling the reference has to mention the hospital as it is on your cv don't give someone that ha that hasn't worked with you before or uh don't don't mention someone that has no direct relations with you because they might probe further and ask additional questions email address is the email address of your referee the person filling your phone for you this is the phone number of the person relationship to you if it's a line manager if it's your director of nursing or your um nursing leader or nurse manager or human resources nursing things like that so relationship to you you need to put that and then your employment the date that you worked with that referee you need to put it here so the date if it was a period of two years make sure you write the date in full you can write month slash year to 
month slash year as well main duties of position so when you were um known to that person when you were working together your main duties could be in three bullet points could be as a summary of three lines like the way you were putting on your nmbi employment from your duties based on your job description you could use two significant ones here as a summary and the person filling that form should be the one to fill that in anyway because they will not they shouldn't give you this form um uh, until they are ready to send it and then they can let you know they've sent over your reference how long have you known this employee could be two years could be three years could be less so that is the relationship the length of time that your referee has known you that needs to be included now this is the main point which your employer is going to use to rate you to rate your performance the number one that, uh, criterion that you want to say is uh, overall job performance in this case um, they've given us all the options that we need excellent good average poor so if i am someone's referee and i'm filling a reference form for someone this is going to determine what i'm going to put here would be as a result of my relationship with that person and how the person has been while uh, been while they were working with me and um it could be excellent it could be good it could be average it could be poor whatever it's ticked here should have a comment should have a comment because the employer is not only going to look at the uh, the ticks the employer is going to look at the comment as well so there are different criteria criteria on that which should not be taken for granted for example even um, overall job performance if it was a very very uh, poor candidate and the person doesn't hasn't really been having good time in good terms with with the people with the people at work like the referees um, and they put poor well no one would put poor anyway in that case the comment would be unsatisfactory or maybe needs improvement or um uh, if it's a, a a good candidate it could be something like meets expectations or exceeds expectations now there are keywords that could be used if if a candidate or an applicant is really really doing good uh, doing well and i'm a referee and i want to feel a very good reference for that person i'm just going to give examples so overall job reference if i'm saying good if I'm taking off good or excellent, depending on the on the level of proficiency of that person at work, I can also give a comment that says that talks on the person's overall job performance. Like she is very punctual and she has shown excellent work behaviors in every aspect of the job. That is a typical example of overall job performance. I've just simply gave, given a comment that says she is very punctual and she has shown excellent work behaviors in every aspect of the job. It could be just one line because that's a very small box. And another, another comment on the overall job performance could be she shows a strong work ethic by consistently staying until all daily tasks are completed and another thing if it's really someone very very excellent at work they could give a comment that says you this um, this candidate she or he consistently goes above and beyond to exceed goals set at work so you can say that as well she goes above way beyond and way beyond uh, by exceeding all goals that have been set for the day so that's a very good one on that uh, overall job performance another thing is ability to work with others as a team definitely the employer wants to know that as well so on the comment it could it could be good it could be excellent definitely it's not going to be all excellent like that because that might come back with a query and good or eventually when a, a referee gives all excellent and the person resumes and can't really meet up with that level of proficiency that there might be a comma that might become an issue so definitely good is okay excellent is okay even satisfactory should be should be okay as well ability to work with others as a team with others as a team i could if i'm feeling that reference from i could give a comment that says that she values friendship 
and she also values building warm relationships within the workplace she values friendships uh, she values uh, building relationships within warm relationships professional relationships within the workplace that is a very good one and still on ability to work with others and the team one can say she's i'm using a female applicant as an example she strives to be a welcoming and helpful presence to all the all our colleagues she strives to be a welcoming and helpful presence to all our colleagues so that has really shown that this person has a, a, an excellent ability to work with others and to work with the team as well then another criteria that would be looked at is enthusiasm or interest in the job um enthusiasm or interest in the job definitely you don't want to say that she doesn't have interest in the job or any other thing like that that could be an issue and even an employer despite the fact they've sent the contracts to the candidate they could still revoke that job based on references so you don't want your referees to make any mistakes whatsoever and to see has an, an interest in the job one could really say give a comment if you're saying good or excellent you could give a comment that says um she is a dedicated employee who understands not only her role and responsibilities but also understands the larger mission of the hospital the larger mission of the hospital so she puts the mission and the ethos of the hospital at the back of her mind and one could also say that she doesn't just strive to do her job she also helps to make the hospital or the department a and uh, a success or an outstanding success so that is a very good one under enthusiasm you've explained that she not she not only has interest in the job she also has um potentials to even make the entire hospital or the entire department a better place then another thing that would be looked at is personal ability or potential personal ability or potential they want to know in terms of growth they want to know if this person has aspirations for the future or things that the person might become eventually maybe two three years on the job and if you're giving good or average or even excellent you should have a comment as well i'll give an example on personal ability or potential you could say something like she aspires in the nearest future to enter a managerial position in the same hospital in the hospital if the, the person that is passionate about building um career you could mention something like that that is on the potential as well or she enjoys uh working closely with teammates and she considers the bigger picture and she helps to mobilize resources in an efficient way she helps to mobilize resources in an efficient way could also say something like she uh she sees herself as a leader or as a nurse leader if you're giving excellent uh, if you are giving excellent proficiency you can say that she sees herself uh, herself as a leader who helps to facilitate teamwork and encourages workers or colleagues to do their best at work then another thing that they could look at is the communication skills communication skills so they want to know the comments basically it's the comment that the employers are going to read they can say something your referee can say something like she's a good communicator who stays on task and helps to rally the team when cooperation is needed to meet up with a deadline or maybe to solve a problem or you can also say she communicates effectively with um, with nurse managers and every other team members at work and uh, most times she even has most difficult conversations in a respectful manner at work in a respectful manner so that has shown the communication skills of that applicant and uh, if you explain more is going to increase the the applicant's chances of getting it right once and for all then timekeeping as well um i never missed you can say that like 
based on yourself based on what you do at work have you been missing out de deadlines have you been coming late to work have you been doing all those things if you are the person that has been doing all those things remember they will send this form they could send it directly to your reference by via email uh via to your referee via email and that might be their chance to really speak about everything you've been doing at work so for good or excellent or excellent uh, proficiency under this the referee could give a comment that says something like she hasn't missed the deadline in the past year and oftentimes she reports to work very very early enough she reports to work on time she reports to work on time so that is about time keeping then another thing is flexibility flexibility is very very important as well you can say something like she looks at a problem from every direction to come up with a creative solution you could also say like she keeps an open mind and uh, she's very flexible she's very she can adapt to any changing situation at work you can say she's always willing to learn or she responds positively to change or she always finds if um, new ways to deal with problems and adverse adverse situations as well you could even say that she helps uh, people to adapt or to modify their behavior according to the needs of the situation so those are really 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 good points just one of one of them is enough anyway on that flexibility initiative skills as well an employer wants a reference uh, on something like that so initiative is a very very good one you can say she's a creative thinker uh, she comes up with novel solutions and she improves upon conventional ways of doing things she of doing things she improves upon conventional ways of doing things you can even say she's a person that is not afraid to look for out of the box out of box solutions or something like she doesn't let change interrupt the workflow but instead she aims to roll with the adjustments to keep all goals on track so that is a very very good one on initiative that is there could be a change at any point in time but this person we are talking about is a very very creative thinker goes even out of the box to bring solutions to the table so it's a very very good comment if you're writing something like that reliability as well the employer is going to check things on reliability basically what that means is that um you can give an example and say maybe uh, she's very dependable and she would give everything she would give all all she she has got to make sure things work out at work and then another thing is you can always say that she's reliable she's dependable she is she performs her work in a timely manner with a high level of accuracy she arrives on time and she arrives she meets up with deadlines that means a, a person that is very very reliable you can rely on her if she says if you know that maybe you're running night shift and she's gonna come in she's resuming at eight you can rely on her to resume at the appropriate time not someone that oh at, at 10 minutes past everyone is still checking the time what is happening what is happening then supervisory skills is going to be related more to the leadership skills of the applicant because even when you come into the country eventually you will be doing things independently we will be performing a lot of roles by yourself so that's why they want to know your supervisory skills as well oftentimes you would have medical students or even student nurses reporting to your shift and you would be in charge of them as well so you want the employer wants to know about your supervisory skills yeah um, you can give a comment the referee can give a comment that says something like um, i always go out of my way to help co-workers you know if i'm the kind of person that i go out of my way to help co-workers so the, the the referee can modify that for you can modify that for you and say she's the type of person that goes out of her way to help everyone to help everyone regardless of their of their uh year, of their specialty it could be the housekeeping staff 
it could be students it could be people coming in it could be company reps asking questions it could be patients relations so you can say that she goes out of her way to help colleagues and everyone and on the still on the supervision skills is still on the leadership you can also say that she makes sure everyone on our team feels comfortable when exchanging ideas or something like um, she looks for ways to keep her team on track and make sure important milestones are met you can also say she's the type that brainstorms or uh, she brainstorms ways and motivates others and she also freely gives praise when performance goals are met she's the type that gives praise when our team members when they meet up with goals set for the day so that is a very very good leader a good leader also acknowledges feedback feedback from people and makes use of that feedback to improve situations for the next day so that is it basically that is it basically on employer reference forms and before the before your referee signs that off would you recommend this applicant for this post if no give reason so if you are saying yes tick off yes and then you can also give one example of overall performance that she's dependable she's reliable i would give her my recommendations without reservations so you can say that i would give her or I would give him my recommendations for this post without reservations because she is uh, she is going to be a great asset to your team. She's going to bring value to your organization. She's going to bring change to the table. She's going to um, work with in accordance with the ethos or ethics of of the organization. So she's a, she's an added asset. Uh, I would recommend that without any reservation. So any other comments, if applicable, they can put it up, but not applicable. Then definitely your referee would have to sign this and put repeat the position or the title at work. Put a date as well and put a date. This doesn't necessarily need to be stamped. If your signature, uh, signatory has a stamp, they can use it. But if not, they can just ignore. It doesn't necessarily need to be stamped. So basically, that is it. That is it on employer reference forms, on how to fill employer reference forms. I hope uh, this is clear enough for everyone. Thank you so much. This is Adebusola Okole. Thank you for listening.